What are the humanities? What a question. <laughs> the humanities is a space of inquiry that deals with things that matter to human beings. And a lot of this is embedded in songs, in music, in culture, in art, in food. From climate change to social justice that have quantitative and engineering dimensions to them, but also have incredibly complex humanistic and human dimensions to them. And the sort of moral dimensions of, of human existence. The humanities are absolutely central to the way we conceptualize health and well-being, the way we conceptualize healthcare systems, and how doctors and other clinicians practice medicine, and how it is to be a patient within the system that we have. The Mayo Partnership has been really exciting for us at the IHR because it's given us a chance to do something that most people within medical institutions and also within academic institutions would like to do, which is to bring them together. More and more we're seeing to the possibility of working with artists and humanists on the research teams to bring forth the questions that we ask, questions of ethics, questions of history in some cases, and certainly questions of meaning. thinking about how to bring the sciences and the humanities together to rethink the way we live on the planet. We wanted to imagine what is our relationship to food here in the valley and what will our relationship to food in the valley be in 25 years. We thought that food would capture the essence of how we want to envision the future, how we want to uh, encompass our value system, and also have fun thinking that this is one of the ways in which humanists can really engage in collaborative work with a community. You know, if you wanted to protect history, cultural traditions of a place, right, you wanted to make sure that the food system preserved ecological integrity, that is, it didn't destroy the environment, that it protected social justice, you know, so people had access to it and people within the food system worked, and also provided healthy food for people. We envision the Nexus Lab as common ground, where people from all over ASU can work on project-centered, problem-motivated research that is going to produce tangible results that will affect not just the academic community, but the broader public as well. We took a look across campus, seeing what projects were out there that already had either digitized or had some sort of digital content ready that we could do some training and web app development around. We came across an IHRC grant recipient that had received monies from the Institute for Humanities Research to digitize the newsletters that were written by Carlos Montezuma, who is a very prominent figure of the Yavapai community. And in the end, we have a fully functioning web application that has imported automatically all of the items that were digitized and put into the ASU library's repository and made it into a searchable and interactive web application. It was really great to be able to see how something that we had done initially just for professional development could actually lead to true you know, community impact and access. What are the big questions that humanities wants to answer? They're the fundamental reason that we pursue all kinds of research and knowledge. How do deep questions about history and language affect the way that we design software and think about where technology ought to be or where we want technology to be? What role religion and religious values play in people's lives? What is our moral relationship to the natural world? Do we owe the natural world anything? Why do resources go here and not there? Um, why do we think certain things are important uh, and but tend to neglect other things? In what ways does that configure the worlds we bring into existence? What is our purpose in life? Why were we born? And what is our contribution in society? What makes life meaningful for human beings, both in the past and in the present, with the hope of understanding how we might move forward together into the future? The things that differentiate us from the wider world of living beings, we produce ideas. 
One of my personal hopes is to create a lab environment as a collaborative space where humanists and artists and musicians and the library and all kinds of units will interact on a daily basis to conceptualize both the way we talk and teach about the humanities and the significance of humanities research to everyday life. It's another way of making the humanities more significant to more people in the university and beyond.